Good morning. I ended up staying at Jack and Gabs's overnight last night because this big storm cloud came in. I just not much better this morning actually, but to be honest, I was knackered as well. And as I haven't said, I'm really struggling with pain right now, especially in my right knee. So it was good just to take some codeine and have some time off. Um, and to try and get my synapses working a bit as well. I have to head home this morning because I have to take my medication, which I've reduced down to 36 hourly. And I've noticed a bit of difference in my synapses. I was late seeing Teresa yesterday because I knew I was meeting her at 11. And I'm like, I'll leave at half 10, quarter to 11 will be all right. And I'm riding along and I'm like, no, it's not half 11 you're meeting her, is it 11? But, oh yes. It's one of those things that happens when we start to change your medication, which I do not recommend you doing it without a medical practitioner. Please, please, please don't change your medication unless you speak to your doctor first. In my former life, I was a mental health nurse for 37 years and I was a non-medical prescriber. I went to uni for the first time at the age of 50 and put myself through the non-medical prescribing course, which I loved. So my job as I was medically retired was assessing um, diagnosing and prescribing for people. Um, prescribing mostly sort of antidepressants and things, but any antipsychotic medication and telling them not to drink on it and the reasons why. And then I go home and take my antidepressant and open a bottle of wine. So, oh, see, don't practice what I preach. It's your choice what you do, but don't change without a medical practitioner. So I kind of know how to do it. This is what I would be sort of explaining to people to do, but I'm not explaining to you how to do that. See your doctor. Disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not responsible for your health. You can listen to me twittering on, but it's up to you what you do with the things I say. Anyway, just stopped here. I had to get some fuel, stopped for a Starbucks because that's here. And then I'm going to go over to Beckles and hopefully get my goggles, my riding goggles. That would be really, really cool because both arms on my new glasses are getting a little bit. Ugh. And then look, look what's here. I've got Hobbycraft. What else have I got? Poundland, H&M, B&M. You've got your bike, Rena. You've got your bike. You've got no room left. Just go get your goggles. Coffee, goggles, and then I'll catch up with you once I'm home. That confused me. I thought, how come I can see me when I'm looking at the thing? It's because there's a mirror. And I've got the camera the other way around. Anyway, I've just popped into Specsavers to um, see if my goggles are ready because it's been a month. They're not. So it's going to ring. So I'm also going to ask them to tighten these both my pairs and straighten them up because obviously put them through my helmet it's not good Ooh, look 300 days return there you go <sighs> i probably need to get my hearing aids i would like to get some non-nhs ones i did have some internal ones before but a friend's dog ate them so yeah we know what i'm like with losing things and they were 1500 pound then that was a few years ago so goodness knows what they'd be now well, I'm very happy. I've just been to Specsavers over there in Beckles and seen Will, who was absolutely lovely. I'm very apologetic that my goggles aren't here. Apparently, they didn't take the PD size, which is the, distance, the pupil distance. Um, and, you know, they emailed it through to the goggle company. The goggle company didn't email back. They apparently tried to ring, but there's no message. So it's just been left for a month. So he's reordered them. I've reminded him we'll just stay in our hula hoops today. Stay in our arms fan off control. There's nothing we can do about any of it. It's fine. He's tightened both my glasses up there for me, but he agrees that my other ones are too big for me and they're not fitting properly. So that 100 day returns literally is no quibble. So they're changing them. I'm getting a smaller size. And I'm really happy actually that Specsavers now do do um, smaller fit and petite fit glasses because I used to have to get from the kids range and the teenage range and just make sure that I didn't have my little pony or sort of, you know, Mr. Mr. Ben. We don't have Mr. Ben anymore. Thomas the Tank Engine, that's what I'm thinking of. Written on the sides of them. But, um, so it's great that we can actually get adult sizes now in smaller fit, which these ones are, but my other ones aren't and they're way too big. Um, yeah, heading home now might go to the little shop first and try and find a trowel and maybe still need to get a walking stick because my knee really is hurting and i'm going to go to beckles book store as well to see if any of my books are sold i don't know we'll go see all three books are still there that's fine but i'm kind of thinking that local people probably want to come into a local shop and buy a book on alcohol and sobriety. 
and people will know their secrets. Me, I'm now proud, I'm okay. But it's different for all of us, different journey for all of us, and that is okay. I was going to say to you, do you want me to come and do a book read? So I've shown more that it's about mental health and well-being. It's not just about alcohol and sobriety. But I just don't feel brave enough today. Um, probably medication withdrawal. I should get home to get the meds really, but um, I just feel I'm on the hunt for a walking stick now. Apparently there's a Roy's around here somewhere. No, if only I wasn't on my bike. I know, what would I do with it? But it's just cool to see one again. Super drag don't have a walking stick, but I do have very nice staff and I've managed to get a ankle support because I've got my left ankle and my right knee. I've already got support on my right knee. But yeah, she's told me about the members club here and it's free to join. You get offers, but you get like things for half price if you're a member, so it's worth doing. So I've done that. I've been to four charity shops, I've been to QD, I've been to Shoe Zone, I haven't been to Roy's yet. Um, it's too far for me to walk. I might have to get back on my bike, but I feel like I just need to head home now. So I cannot get my cat's walking stick anywhere, so I'm afraid it's gonna have to be Amazon. I'm trying, I'm really trying to shop local, but it's just not that easy. So just as I was about to get on Bumblebee, I thought I'd just quickly pop back in to break. Can't go right over because people stood there. And since they've got a walking stick, but they didn't have one, I said, Gary's discount does next door. So I went in there and he did. 549, a bargain. But I need to go and get um, some cash out because it's cash only. But that's fine. I'll hobble on up the high street. There's three banks in Beckles. You don't usually get that, do you? But um, yeah, here it's good. Barclays, Lloyd's and Nationwide. And as I was coming out, I heard this beautiful, beautiful cello something i think you might be able to hear it in the background so i got 20 pounds out and i got all the way back down there i don't want to come back up to give us some money so i've been to qd to buy some more bulbs that i really don't want so i can get some change to go and give her because it sounds beautiful and then she might let me feel <laughs> especially my island tour you'll know exactly why or if you just know me you'll know why i got two anyway i just made this like, really lovely guy smile and take some photos and that he's like wow i love it i know she's cool she's the best of fun everyone should go and test rider can and rider that's what i say anyway um yeah walking sticks ahoy as i got back here to the bike um somebody then asked do you know where the museum is or the tourist information i went there was one so i need to go and check it out but i need to get home and take my medication i've got to stop procrastinating so i'll just put it on the list <sighs> see you at home i'm home it took me about 45 minutes to get my helmet on and leave beckles three times i had it on and off um and then just got talking to people which was amazing i love it you know me i do like a good old talk in case you didn't realize um, but lastly, I met someone called Gary, who was amazing. I'll tell you more about him later and some of the things we chatted about, because that was really good. I am going to be hanging up my biking boots and my keys for a little while, a couple of days. I've got my knee on ice. I've got my ankle on ice at the moment. I finally got home at 12 o'clock to take my medication. And you know what? Gary was so nice. I wanted to say to him, should we go and have a cup of coffee? Because I, we could have just talked for hours, I think. You know when you can just connect with somebody and like you're just on the same wavelength it was brilliant but um hopefully we will hook up through some of the, the groups and things that i'm going to tell you a little bit about later because that was really interesting local bike groups and bike meets brilliant um so that will be good but um for now i'm just going to rest up but when i got home i thought Do you know what i'm going to look at my camera and see where i've got to look so it looks like i'm looking straight and so I've put red nail polish on, bright red nail polish. And I'm looking at that 
The problem is, when I'm not filming, it covers me time. Would we expect anything else? Really? No, I don't think so. But the reason I didn't suggest going for coffee, I've just remembered my synapses weren't working properly. Struggling for my words. I was almost drooling, drooling by the time I got through the door. Oh, so I'm just going to sit. Yeah, I seem to be doing okay at the moment. But I, it's just really not firing properly. So I'm going to just chill for a bit and do the rest of this later. Because you really don't know what time I'm doing it in. It's only in my time. Your time's different from my time. This isn't real time. Oh my goodness. Yes. So we put so much pressure on ourselves, don't we, for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So I do distract myself, but other things distract me too. I just heard thunder and lightning. She and I had my washing on the line. So I had to come out and get it in um, before it got a second rinse before it got dry. The sky looks a bit blue up there. Look, mad, doesn't it? It had to be really blue there and then really, really dark there. Anyway, I was just going to do that because then I got distracted and started thinking about my plant because that was by my back door that I bought yesterday. And because it's not the cacti or the cactus that I was thinking of, haha, <laughs> um, and I'm going to be away for October and November or some of October and November, then I need to plant it in a plant pot. And I was looking everywhere to see for a square or an oblong one, couldn't find one. And I just thought today, right, I'll just squish it in. So that's what I've done, look. I'm going to plant. That is a plane, that's not thunder. And um, then eventually I'll get in and back to the ice. Oh, look, I found a dinky trowel. Not a clue where it's come from. It's smaller even than Arthur's, but it's going to help me to get this sorted. The size of this robin, look. It's going to be a bit disproportionate to the size of the caravan, <laughs> I think. But never mind. Well, my synapses are kind of getting back in place now. Unlike my Wi-Fi, which has gone. So I thought I'd come and do this now. And um, hopefully my Wi-Fi will be back on. And then I can sit and watch. What was it I was watching? Oh. It's turned off now. Uh, who is Erin Carter? I think it is. So I've only got about 10 minutes in. Internet's gone. That's fine. Anyway, so I'm home. I've got lots to do over the next few days. I'm really going to try and hunker down and get on with paperwork. I'm going to get on with my to-do lists, which is quite a lot of them. My housework, my gardening now that I need to do without a trowel. Better order one. My washing. Um... And yeah, probably just taking a little step back from vlogging over the next couple of days. That's the plan anyway. But you know me. I'd like to say perfectly imperfect. That's what I used to say. But now I say I am perfect being me. And it's okay. So what is perfect? Perfection. I always talk about perfection. So I thought I'd just read a little bit from a book on perfection. Is something that we continually strive for but can never actually achieve because it's different for everyone. What's perfect for me is not necessarily so for you. Perfection just makes us chase our tail. It can really help to purposely do something imperfect and live with it. I do that all the time. That's easy. I didn't even have to try. <laughs> but I'm perfect being me. I'm perfect at being me. Don't forget to breathe and live a perfectly imperfect life with me today or however you want to say that. But yeah, so I just thought, been going on about it. I'd read it. So I'm trying to get a little bit organised look. I've even made notes for myself because I had a lovely time with Gabs yesterday who is going to get me organised and she's going to be changing around some of my social media because I'm not good with technology. This is quite hard for me to do these things, but you know, here I am doing it. So she's going to tidy it up a bit. I think if you follow me at Can Am Girl UK on Facebook, I think that account is going to be going because somehow I made it a business account. So I can't comment on other people's posts and add things on. So that's not great. So that's going to go and I'll just have my Karina Auditon on my Facebook, which will be eclectic. It will be a mix of everything because I'm an eclectic person. I'm just a bit all over the place, really. But same thing. Um, my Instagram, I used to have a fibromyalgia account, Living Positive Fibromyalgia. I used to have a sobriety, Sober Bumblebee. I used to have can -Am Girl and another one, oh, Ditsy.com. And I just decided to amalgamate them all. 
so I've you mostly been using Can Am Girl UK so that will stay but we're going to have nice little headings because it's a bit messy on there because some of you like my sobriety stuff and my book stuff you know my quotes from my book that I post each day some of you like the Can Am stuff some of you like the travel so we'll have little little headers at the top for, for you to yeah so it will be it will be tidier it will be nicer but you can you can generally find me at Can Am Girl UK on any media so TikTok Instagram facebook currently um and youtube but that that is called positive recovery no it's not yeah it is positive recovery with karina oh, i'm also on wordpress under fibromyalgia or us i think and twitter under ditsy.com it's all a bit of a mess so hopefully that will get organized and tidied up but if you have any questions for me if you want to ask if you're not sure if you just want to know some stuff about the things that i'm doing that other sober communities are doing like i am sober and sober town the ladies groups that i um supporting but haven't been lately because i've been busy traveling my way around um, different countries and vlogging but that's one of the things i need to get on top of um is get back doing that get a sober town podcast done this week and look through some of the sober town stuff as well because we are becoming board members and i am sort of overseeing copyright which is quite funny really because um i nearly got booted off of facebook the other day for a reel because i put bill with his lovely day for more than a minute and a half um and i was breaching copyrights but it's really hard you know because stuff that's okay on tiktok or movie maker or instagram or facebook or youtube isn't okay on the other sites so it's really quite difficult i don't understand that because if it's copyright it's copyright but there you go so you may have noticed that i haven't put usually i do like a little We'll move at the end with the highlights of my photos and put it to music but i'm just it's just too much at the moment until i can get my head around that copyright so i'll be reading more into that because obviously for both sabertown and my own channels as well if you don't know what sabertown is um you can hear some of my podcasts down on my youtube way way down or just look up www.sabertownpodcast.com and you will find the link on my can am girl page so can am girl uk so c-a-n-a-m girl uk all one word and you'll find the links in there to my book to sober town podcast and to my youtube channel too but if you're watching on youtube you already know that so that's fine anyway what i've got to say so scabs is quite sorting things out and yes i was coming back to i've jumped haven't i if you have any questions for me on any of that and on zooms they're informal zooms ladies only zooms men's only zooms mixed zooms for sobriety if you're trying to get sober Sober Town also is um, for any substance addiction. It's all addictions. It's not just alcohol. So check that out. Lots of stuff on there. The before and after photos are the most popular things on there. There's sobriety tattoos. There's tools. There's networks. There's things about your body on booze. There's actual podcasts that you can listen to as well. So much. So much. Your one-stop sobriety shop, as we call it. But it's all for free. So go check it out. What's it going to cost you? Nothing. Um... Right, so I've said that I'm going to do all that, right, gardening, um, ladies support groups, I've said about that, copyright, I've said about, oh, right, things I need to check out is What Three Words, which apparently is this great app that you can download, which I'm sure many of you know about it, because I am behind the times, let's face it, that's fine, I know that. So I'm behind the times, but I need to find What Three Words, there's three words every place. Is it in the world or the UK? I don't know. But I think it's in the world, actually. Every, it has three words. So you can do meetups, groups. You can, if you're lost, if you're stranded, you can just do what three words and people can find you. Your exact location within a three metre radius. How amazing is that? Uh, I think, can I get my phone and my keys and my glasses and everything else? Just have its own what three words. <laughs> that would be good, wasn't it? If I could find, if I could put a little tag on them, that's what I need because I lose everything. The other thing I need to look into is Nelson and Norfolk and Thetford. My friend Julia, hi Julia, all the way in Australia, coming to see you in February. Oh, I've got exciting plans for next year, but let's stick to this year and this moment. So um, she tells me that actually it was Boudicca or Bodicea as we were taught growing up. Apparently now it's pronounced Boudicca, but she was in that area of Thetford, so really, really got to look into that. Also now, I've got to start and check out Beckles. I did take a picture of the Beckles signs. I do love the, the town signs around here. And that sign depicts um, Queen Elizabeth I handing over the keys to the town to somebody. I looked that up a couple of years ago and I cannot remember. 
um, so I will look more into that or just look up the street sign in Beckles, not the street sign, the town sign of Beckles. But yeah, so Queen Elizabeth I was either here or he went down there to get the keys. I'm, I'm not sure, but there you go. We're famous. It's a famous county. It's famous all over, isn't it? The whole world is famous for something or other. I've also got some questions I have answered on social media today. And I thought it might be quite good just to finish here with them. And I got to remember what they were. So the first question was, why do I vlog? Okay, the reason I vlog is to help other people. I started off podcasting and I started off podcasting for Sabertownpodcast.com. I then extended that to my YouTube channel and started putting my, my podcasts up there. And the whole thing is about helping people. It's about understanding we're perfect as we as we are. We're our own kind of perfect. It's about not being our disability, our chronic illness, our label, our condition. It's about living life in the moment to the full, the best we can in that time. It's about sobriety. It's about... The, the most important thing is for you to see me as I am and to know that it is okay because this is reality. This is how we are. How we are is how we are. And we can sit here wishing for other things. But you know what? That really doesn't help. We have the magic inside. And the biggest magic is acceptance. As you would have heard me say so many times before. It's just accept it for what it is. If we resist it, it makes things worse. Let's accept our areas of control today as well. That anything outside of this, I have no control over. If you're like me, <laughs> with my neural pathways, I don't have a lot of control over this area either. But that's okay it really is so that's the main reason that i started vlogging but what i found in my vlogging is that it's really great therapy it's really really good for me to sit and talk into my camera and go blah 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 and get it all out because that's basically what we do in therapy we sit and talk and the therapist may guide us certain ways but actually we come up with our own ideas our own thoughts our own solutions and that's what i do when i vlog so I really advocate that you pick up your camera today and just talk into it or your phone or whatever. You don't have to vlog. Just have it for your own reference or just do it and then delete it or record, voice record or just write it down, pen and paper or type it all out to a journal if you want to. Just get it out. It really, really does help us to, to work through the stuff that tends to go round and round in our head. The next question was, was it hard to write a book? Um, no well yes at times it was but actually it was really quite exciting and interesting and i learned so much a lot of it was stuff from here that was just like blah blah, blah. it's easy to write it because it just it just came came out the hard bit is the editing editing and getting it all in order and learning your alphabet sometimes that was pretty hard um obviously i didn't know my alphabet but it's quite confusing when you have uh anyway not going into that I have an aversion to the alphabet nowadays, although I have two more ideas for two more books that are going to be A to Z as well. So, but I do have a blueprint here, so that's okay. That's uh, a good start. So no, it's not hard. Um, it's good fun. It can be hard. It can be stressful. The editing's hard. The um, the next bit I'm going to talk about was was hard for me being a technophobe. Um, but yeah, thank goodness I had Joy and Lisa with my proofreaders and editors and I could not have got it published without them so again thank you to them and thank you to everyone that helped me even my um, sober community helped me they gave me ideas some of their quotes are in the here some of their names and obviously Andy and yeah lots of people the acknowledgements are all in the back there of my book um how did I get an agent I didn't I self-published on Amazon now the beauty of that is when you self-publish you have a hundred percent control over your your content if you go to an agent and a printer they start changing it around they kind of take over control of what you want in it it can also take two years to get published I didn't have two years I wanted to get my messages out there you know for what they're worth you know, just to get people curious ideas, to, to just get some ideas out there to try and help people. I didn't want to wait two years. You get um, slightly more royalties. I think you get about £2.250 £2. a book. When you go on, you can choose 70% or 30%. I chose 70% of the royalties, but it doesn't come because they take all the other stuff out of it anyway. So it's about £2.50 a book, a little bit more for your Kindle version. Um, but I mean, it wasn't about, it's not about the money for me. It's not about fame or finance it's I don't want fame finance would be nice but that's not what this is about it's actually about helping people so um so yeah you, you retain 100 percent 
of it all oh and and you don't have to wait for it to be published so what happens is you go onto amazon you order it they print it as it's ordered it's printed it's put out there's not stacks of them waiting in the warehouse somewhere i think it's really really good and if i can do it anybody can do it because i'm not good with technology all you do is download or read into kdp kindle direct publishing and then you get your manuscript it does have to be a certain typeface and then you put it in and then it kind of all lines up it doesn't it took me about 48 hours of no sleep and no eat and that's the other thing when you write a book you have to be prepared to eat breathe sleep um drink not alcohol uh your project just completely your project right the other things i got asked are my canam my canam Riker. do you have to have a bike license in the uk i can only speak for the uk in the uk if you have your car license pre-1999 you can ride the canam Riker on it if you have your bike license post-1999 you have to have a full bike license but you would have heard me say before there's some discrepancy between 1999 and 2013 but I definitely know that I'm riding mine on my car license because I've got grandparents rights because I'm an oldie um and the other thing was about the can -Am was how can I afford it that's easy three years of not drinking it's paid for it you've heard me say that before um, not drinking, not smoking, and now I'm over three weeks without the sugars. Oh my goodness. I'm still in pain, but it's getting better. Um, you know, at least I'm not, and the cravings are gone. The cravings for sugars are gone, but I am a bit carb heavy, so I'm going to be working on that. So I think that that is about it today because I've yabbered on. I've definitely gone over my 20 minutes, as I always do. Uh, I'll just put some photos up on the helmet because my new helmet's here. Uh, I have to find something to do with my old helmet because I really don't want to wear it anymore because it is going to split in half. My new helmet is just black, but I might get it painted or something on it. So, yeah, this is going to become a plant pot. Um, or I, I should imagine in the meantime, I know a certain little boy that's probably going to be trying it on i'm probably saying i'm like andy because everything's about andy even when you sit on bumblebee it's like andy's bike andy's bumblebee i'm like no it's mine so yes hopefully my internet's back on i'm going to sit down ice up and i'll be back to, to you when i am i'm not going to make any promises because i've got stuff that i need to get on with here so until then bye bye for now only me you didn't think i was really gone did you it wouldn't be my vlog if i didn't have to come back for something when i was editing so gary lots of things to say about gary i'll probably talk about some of that stuff the other day because we were, you know i was talking about some of the grief journey as well and he'd had a similar experience so or his sister has so I'll, I'll talk about that another day but we were just talking about bike mates so bike things i need to look around here there's a group called life behind bars as in handlebars and they meet at Posh Pigs. There's a Grumpy's Cafe. So this is all kind of Bungie Beckles kind of area, I think. There's the Gilligan Werry. People meet there. And the Brickmakers in Norwich as well. So I'm sure there's lots and lots of others. But um, let me know. Comments below. Um, share it around. Let people know. And any questions as before, DM me or comment me. Or you can also email me. I'll put the email address. It's alcoholandsobriety at gmail.com. But I'll put the address in the write-up. I really am going now. Bye-bye. <laughs>